Hello, hello everyone. Wow, today is going to be a little different. It's not going to be a cooking video, but I'm going to show you my some of my arsenal of medicines that I make myself. I'd like to share some of these with you. Now, right here, I'm going to show you. We're going to push this aside. You see, I have a tea with flea bane daisies. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like. There are these tiny little, almost like daisy flowers. They come either in white or you could get the purple version or you could get these ones that, well, they kind of have a little bit of pink in it, a little bit of white. And this is what the leaves look like. Now, the leaves are kind of hairy in the back, but this is very medicinal. Number one, you can use every part of this plant, the root, the leaves, and the flower. A long time ago, they used to use the flower and it used to repel fleas in their beds. But you can use the flowers and the leaves, like if I want, I could take some of these beautiful flowers, throw them in my tea, and what is good, it's good for many things. But I'm still studying this one, so I'm not gonna give you the full detail, I'll make another video on it. But right now, uh, you could actually drink this as a diuretic. I don't know if any of, any of you know, when you wake up in the morning, your hands are swollen because you've either had uh, salty foods and your hands feel all swollen because of all the salts you had. Well, a nice tea like this, will it'll let you urinate the water out. But there's a lot more to it. And like I said, I'm still learning this plan. So before I share it all with you, I am going to do my homework and then I will share that with you and how you can prepare it. I don't know if you can see the tiny little hairs in the back of the leaves. If you use it in a tea, you don't even notice it. And if you cook it, it cooks off those tiny little hairs and you won't notice it. So you could actually eat this. Uh, you could always pick some of the leaves and cook them up and mix them with some of your other veggies. And that is very, very good for you. So if you ever have this in your garden and you want to make yourself some tea, help yourself, very good for you. Now I'm going to share some other medicines I have. I'll put this aside. We have usnea. Not sure if you know what this is. Uh, usually you find usnea anywhere where there's very little pollution. If you uh, in the city, you're barely going to find it. I'll put a picture of what it looks like. We pick this up north and we make a tincture. This is our newest batch. When did I make this? I made this on the 4th of the 4th of this year. And we've already started to take it. And believe it or not, this is a mix of a fungus and an algae. And what it does, it uh, relieves pain. If you have fever, it lowers your fever. Um, it is good for your lungs, uh, wound healing. If you ever cut yourself, you could put some of that on a little cotton swab and clean your wound with it. It relieves sore throat. So this is good for your lungs, kills infections. That's something else that you can make. I'll put uh, pictures of this up so you see what it looks like on the plant. It, if you find it dry, it looks like a dry mess, but if it rains, it kind of rehydrates itself, and it has like this elasticity to it, but very medicinal. So this is one of the things that everybody should have in their medicine cabinet. Okay, so that's Usnia. Put that aside. Over here, we have a mixture of everything. <laughs> okay, it started off as a goldenrod mixture now goldenrod i have a video on this do i have a video on this i should have a video on this um up on youtube already if i could find it i'll put a link for you but this is good for your kidneys it's good for urinary infections uh, it's good for your bladder it's good for joint pain it's good for so many things i want to make a whole section on my website on these medicinal plants and all the good things that it is that nature has for us so what i did to this though i added some pine needles i added some ginger i added some sweetness to this one here i have some that's just alcohol in it and that i use for cuts bruises whatever but for for me to take to take it inside i did add sweetness i put some maple in this one and like i said there's pine needle we added a little bit of um like a whole tangerine. I washed the tangerine really, really well, cut it in half and just jammed it in there and it picked up the flavor of the tangerine. So it has a nice flavor. 
But I also put in this one is elderberry, which I make elderberry syrup. And again, this has so many delicious, uh, not only is it delicious, you can use, you can make it as a syrup for pancakes, but it has a lot of medicinal properties also. Now these are tinctures. So I have used an alcohol base to this. And what I use is vodka. That's the easiest way to do it. You could play around with these high percentage alcohols, but you have to know how to dilute it because you could poison yourself with alcohol. So what we're using is vodka, and I find that's the easiest way that you can actually pull the medicine out of the plant and it's safe for you to take. But very good for you and very important to have, especially in the winter time. That's when all these bugs are out, prevents all these infections to attack your body. So this is something else that I use. In the country, you see all these golden blooms, like you know that you're in goldenrod heaven. They start around, uh, last year they started kind of early, but usually they're like around uh, the end of June, starting July, all the way up to the fall. And when we have those beautiful blooms, we cut them, bring them home, and we make medicine with this. Okay, here's another one that I have. And I started making it and this is my pine needle tinctures so this video was really to show you this but I wanted to show you all the other ones that I did have now pine needle is one of the most natural medicine that nature has provided us uh, this is good for a respiratory tract it's good to fight any kind of infections such as colds flus especially around flu season, but you can take this daily just in case there's something out there you want to prevent from catching, good to have. So, but you do have to wait. Remember when you make these tinctures, you can just pour the alcohol and say, okay, I'm going to have it now about six weeks. And then basically I'm going to have about 20 to 30 drops three times a day. This is when you're not feeling good. But if you want to do it as a preventative medicine you can have what i have every day in here i have a bottle full of pine needle tea i always have pine needle tea ready for me so what i do is i make my tea and i let it steep all day you want to just as soon as it comes to a boil you want to pull it off if you have your needles in the water because otherwise you're going to kill all the benefits that's in the pine needle if you are doing this outdoors because you're out in the wild and you want to make yourself some tea, as uh, soon as the water boils, throw your needles in, pull it off the, uh, off the fire and just let it steep and then you can have it. Or the way I do it is I pour boiling water into my tea and then once it goes all the way to the top that my needles are submerged. Yeah, my water is hot enough here. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you all the way up to the top. And I just push it off to the side and I let it steep and you get this beautiful golden color now I'm using red pine for this but you can use white pine which is a little more mild this one is more piney taste but I don't mind it at all so now this is a new batch I made I already have plenty of needles stored away for tea but very um, very medicinal so this one is going to stay in the dark and do its thing and i have a new batch that i'm making now because i'm going to have more than one because you know we're now the summer falls coming around and then winter and that's when all the bugs come out when i say bugs i'm not talking black flies and mosquitoes i'm talking those bugs that attack you and make you sick there's more vitamin c in pine needles then if you would eat oranges there's so much vitamin C in here so that's very very good for you uh, if you have a sore throat for angina bronchitis uh, it's good for so many things the vitamin C is so low in vitamin C it's it's got uh, resin acid it's got minerals it's got flavonoids really good for us so if you want to use it as a preventative medicine you can take a little bit daily but you can use it uh, like three times a day if you're sick or if you're not sick and you want to prevent yourself from getting sick you could take it uh, once a day so it's good to have 
um, but very easy to make so I have I'm gonna fill this all the way to the top usually you fill it up like three quarters way and fill alcohol all the way to the top but I like to make mine a little stronger so I'm gonna fill mine up all the way up and then I am gonna take I have a bottle started I'm gonna start putting my vodka I'm just using plain vodka now this is just plain vodka what you could also do if you want to sweeten it you could also sweeten this and you could add which I might do this one here I'll mark it that it's sweet I don't use honey but I do use maple so we can add a little bit of maple to this one and it's just gonna have a little sweetness to the medicine which is easier if you have kids uh, you want to maybe have a little sweetness to it so I'm gonna continue packing this very easy to do I've got some needles now my needles I picked a while ago so they are a little on the dry side but trust me these were dry too if you look at this one how dry it is and look at this now that it's been sitting in alcohol it really does come back to life i know i have scissors somewhere okay can't find my scissors but basically you want to break these in smaller pieces this way it helps release some of the medicine that's in the needle very very easy to do and then we just fill the rest up with the vodka vodka or mix vodka with maple syrup and this will be good for a long time guys if you keep this in a dark place it'll be a, it'll be good for a long time but very very easy to do so if you have pine needles at home you can make yourself medicine that's going to help you so Hope you like this video it's a video that is completely different from my recipes but i think that it's important for us to know that we do have medicine all around us if you look in your front yard i'm sure you're going to find dandelion not only can you eat it but it's also a medicine if you look in your front yard i'm sure you're going to find plantain not only is it edible but it's also a medicine uh, plantain is another thing you can do is if you cut yourself or you get stung by a bee or whatever a mosquito if you take a leaf and you mulch it up into your mouth and then you put it on top of where you got bitten or cut it's like magic all of a sudden your sore doesn't hurt anymore and it heals quickly and it heals up beautifully if you have wild roses you not only have uh, something beautiful to look at you have medicine and you have teas uh, you can eat the leaves you can eat the uh, the flowers you can make teas out of them and you could also make medicine out of it so I'm gonna say I love you guys and if you want to see more videos like this I can make a series on this I'm also gonna put them up on my other channel we'll see if you guys aren't crazy about having this type of video in my cooking channel I could always put it there and if you're interested you could go there and look at it but yes very easy to do guys and do your homework anytime you see something like this before you go ahead and do it I say do your homework uh, you don't have to listen to me because Connie said so I say do your homework I just told you about pine needles look it up and see what you think about it and then if you want to do it you're welcome to do it same thing with the golden rod same thing with the usnia same thing with roses or whatever i'm telling you just do your homework expand your mind because uh, there's a lot of things out there that nature provides us to heal us and it's out there for us as an abundance but i just want to show you uh, that's how i keep my teas this is for teas i just keep it on my counter yes they do dry up but that doesn't matter because as a sister like you can tell right there notice that beautiful golden color i do love adding a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of cinnamon to my tea and it just adds a really really nice flavor uh, while it's seeping, steeping there so that's when i make my tea but 
very very delicious and very very nutritious and very healing guys the magic word is healing um, and tell me if you're okay with these type of videos if not like I said uh, if you don't want to see these type of videos on this channel if not I will put this only on my other channel and if you're interested you could go and look at it there so I'm gonna say I love you guys and guess what I'm gonna see you in my other videos stay healthy stay safe I love you all for more videos like this make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends